mom's a purchasing agent, my dad is a factory worker, and they've just kind of saved their entire lives, worked paycheck to paycheck, hand to mouth, really trying to get a foothold. And with these medical crises, they just kind of lost everything. And a lot of the rhetoric against the movement is that people just need to get a job and pay their bill and everything would be fine. But there are so many other things that are happening that are making that impossible. And so we're here today to share our stories. I'm here to share my story. It's kind of the face to the numbers and some stories to the bottom line what banks' decisions actually do to real people, how they impact real folks like me and a lot of the folks who are here today. There are other people who are protesting whose houses have been foreclosed also. There was a couple motorcycles. Uh, they just started running into a line of protesters, so I went up to try to film to get the motorcycle uh, driver's uh, badge number and name to, you know, because he was hurting a girl. I aim the camera at that officer right there, and he, you know, pushes me to the ground, makes my camera fall to the ground, um, and then he gets out a stick and starts hitting me. Somebody the, actually pulled me by my backpack. Can I see the screen of your iPad? Huh? Can I see the screen of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, so he, uh, somebody else pulled me by the backpack to get me out of his way, and as soon as I went back to go for my camera on the ground, he stomped on it, and he wouldn't let me get to it. He hit me in the knee when I went to reach for it, and he threw me back to the ground. And then, uh, Was this over there on the left? Just right over here, about 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Um, and uh, he hit me in the knee, threw me back to the ground, and I, other people were trying to get the tab back from him, and he just kicked it out into the street so we can go get it. But he still kept swinging at us the whole time. A bunch of other people, there was no reason for them to hit me or to hit anybody. There was no reason for them to try to run people over with their dirt bikes. And I used to trust the San Francisco cops, so this is a real letdown for me. You know, now I, now I don't know who's protecting me. Who do we go, who do we call when the police are the ones who are hurting us? Where, where, where are all these people? Hi, this is Sonia with Nation of Change and we're here in front of the food bank and we have a few people here that are willing to give us some action talk. So I'll turn it over to you. of change for their support for this action. We appreciate all the efforts and everything that they've done for us.